Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. We are going to be solving this engineering mechanics. A problem that treats a particle is traveling along the parabo parab parabolic path y is equal to 0 0.25 x squared. If x is equal to 8 meters, uh, the velocity along the x-axis is equal to 8 meters per second and acceleration along the x-axis is equal to 4 meters per second squared when t is equal to 2 seconds. Determine the magnitude of the particle's velocity at acceleration at this instant at this is that all right solution okay so we have been asked to find uh, the magnitude of the particle's velocity and acceleration at the instant t is equal to two second okay and uh, x is equal to eight meters and we've been given these are the velocities in the x and the acceleration in the, in the x as well all right so uh, y is equal to 0 0.25x squared, x is equal to 8 meters, v of x is equal to 8 meters per second, and uh, a of x is going to be equal to 4 meters per second squared at t is equal to 2 seconds. Right. So we're supposed to find what y is. I mean, uh, we find uh, the, the velocity along the y-axis. We know that our velocity in the y is going to be equal to uh, v subscript y is going to be equal to y dot, which is equal to and y over dx using the chain rule times um, times dx dt we know that our dx dt is equal to x dot which is equal to 8 meters at at t is equal to 2 seconds so v of y is going to be equal to what is the y dx of this is a 2 by 0 0.25 x all right that's one minute i just write what this is so that i replace the two so dy dx is equal to uh, 2 by 0 0.25 x which is equal to 0 0.5 x and therefore uh, v velocity in the y direction is going to be equal to by replacing there it is 0 point at two seconds at 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 x is equal to 8 meters okay so it's going to be equal to 0 0.5 uh, x okay and then this dx dt is x dot okay so this is going to be equal to 0 0.5 what is x equal to 8 and uh, x dot is also 8 okay and then this gives us 8 by 8 64 by 0 0.5 that's 32 so this is 32 meters 32 meters per second right and then our acceleration in the y direction is going to be equal to y dot okay y dot which is equal to so using the chain rule this is going to be equal to 0 0.5 x dot um x dot x 
xo plus x point I mean zero point five x by x double dot right okay so therefore this is going to be equal to 0 0.5 what is x dot is 8 so it's 8 by 8 plus 0 0.5 what is x x is also 8 what is double dot Okay, acceleration in the x direction is what is four. So this gives us this gives us a y is going to be equal to this one is used to four. That's all. Thirty two. Thirty two plus. This one is thirty two. This one is thirty two. This is uh, eight by four is thirty two by half. That is sixteen. Therefore, thirty two plus sixteen gives us a forty eight. It turns the second square all right so the magnitude of velocity is going to be equal to velocity is equal to this squared by this squared uh, what is our vx our vx is equal to 8 squared and what is our vy? Say so 32 squared. We're going to be equal to 8 squared uh, plus 8 squared. Vy squared is uh, 32, right? Plus 32 squared. Out of that, it gives us. 39 32.98 meters per second that's the magnitude so 8 squared plus 32 squared root of that okay acceleration is equal to ax squared ay squared it's going to be equal to 4 squared plus a y that is 48 squared is equal to squared plus 48 squared out of that we have a 48.18 one seven meters per second so at this instant where x is equal to eight meters when t is equal to two seconds we have v is equal to the magnitude 32.98 meters per second and acceleration equal to 48.17 meters per second squared All right, I guess we're done. Uh, I hope the video is helpful. Continue liking and subscribing. Bye-bye and see you in my next screencast.